Hi guys, Nina here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just seeing me for the first time, thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, I'm going to be creating a natural makeup look, which you guys see on the thumbnail. If you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please support your girl. Click on the subscribe button just right below. And also turn on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you know when next I upload a new video to this channel. So guys, Let's get right into the tutorial. I honestly don't know what happened in my lips. I woke up to seeing this, like it has this bones feel right here. I really don't know what happened right here, but either ways, that just means when I'm applying my black eyeliner, I don't have to struggle so much because that area there is already dark. To start your makeup look, you want to apply a primer all over your skin. And I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer, this right here. If you have an oily skin, I totally recommend this primer because it will help your makeup last for longer and um, you won't get oily as fast as you would have if you didn't use the primer. Of course, I already moisturized my skin with my body lotion after taking my bath. So now we have our primer all over our beautiful face. Yes, your face is beautiful, your skin is beautiful. And the more you eat more healthy foods, the more you are at peace within yourself, your skin naturally would start to glow. So please appreciate yourself, tell yourself you are beautiful because really, you are beautiful yeah so for foundation i'm going to be using my favorite foundation my all-time favorite foundation which is the revlon um color stay foundation i'm going to be mixing two shades of it which is the revlon caramel foundation and the revlon mocha foundation if you notice with my complexion my face is lighter than my body so i have to be careful to ensure that i darken the lower part of my face my face looks fairer than my body like i just look like put a different head on top of my neck so i'm trying to avoid that in this video i'm gonna start with the revlon mocha foundation I'm just um, applying the mocha foundation to my foundation brush to apply this foundation on the lower part of my face and around the corners of my neck area it's almost like i'm contouring but what i'm doing is just to show that the foundation balances out with the complexion on the other parts of my face areas where i have spot like under my chin area i'm just dabbing in more so that the foundation co covers up the spot then i'm gonna take what's left of on the foundation brush and just start to apply it to my forehead area my temples your temple is this area right here and this foundation has a beautiful coverage like if you just keep on pressing on the foundation, like if you dab like this with the foundation brush on your face, it's going to cover up any blemish you have on your skin. I'm going to apply the Revlon Caramel Foundation to the part of my face that I didn't apply the darker one, which is my under eye area. Yeah, foundation to open it. Yeah, my under eye area, my nose area, the upper part of my lips and a bit of my forehead too and my brow and my eye area yes uh -huh. don't forget the corners of your feet and if you can even extend the foundation a bit towards your neck that would also be great yes uh -huh. so guys now i'm done with the foundation look i'm going to proceed down to highlighting my face i'm going to be using the zikel second skin concealer use very little of it it's really light a little of it goes a long a long way you don't need too much of this concealer right here i want to just highlight the upper part here so that when i'm contouring my nose it just makes it stand out a bit more then the center of my forehead can I see what I'm doing? I'm just pressing it on. If I had a beauty blender, it's easier to blend concealers in with your beauty blender. But if you have just a foundation brush with you, you can also work with that. You don't want to have a situation whereby it looks like, okay, the highlight is here while the contour is here. 
I'm going to still go back with that darker foundation and kind of frame the corners of my face a bit. Okay. I use the mocha foundation. I'm going to go back to that darker foundation which I used earlier. I'm going to use it to smooth out this area. Mm -hmm. This area that joins the highlighted part with the darker area. So that there's no, there's not much contrast. Like there's no, it's not defined that oh this area is lighter, this area is darker. It needs to blend in smoothly. It, it needs to blend in effortlessly. It looks, it looks better now. I want to go back to the same foundation which I used as of my face, but this time around, I'm going to use that foundation with this angled brush to define the corners of my nose. I want to cut off that excess which I put there so that my nose doesn't look ill shaped. So you can see what I mean. I'm just going from like the beginning of my brow area here and just blending it downwards. Yes, that's what we are doing. Yeah. So you can just see this perfect pointed nose. Then I'm going to go back with this brush here and just um, extend the contour to the center of my lips here. So that my cupid bow looks more gifted. When this area is sunk in, then this part here looks more elevated, and this part here looks more elevated. I don't know if you see the difference. Yeah, it's, it's more. It's my lips looks more perky by just doing that simple thing. Yeah. So guys, you can see how my face looks right now. Done with highlighting, contouring, foundation, skin work is done. But we need to set our skin, especially that under eye area, before we move on with doing other things. And I'm going to be using the Early Pride um, Contour Game Palette. I'm going to use this powder here. I'm going to use these two powders here. I'm going to just um, tap into the two of them. The reason why I like to use this and this, my skin has this orange undertone to it. So this is just to restore that to my under eye area. While I'm also setting it with a lighter powder. So just tapping that in while I'm looking up. The reason why I'm looking up is just so that um, there are no fine lines. So this powder is setting a smooth area. If I was looking down, you'd be seeing the fine lines under my eye area. You can see it's looking scrunchy and scr so you look up so that everything is you know smooth. Area. My brush. I'm just tapping that same two powder shades that I used on the bridge of my nose area where you want it to be and for my cupid's bow area my chin just the center here so the other part of my face i'm going to use a darker powder because i'm trying to warm up my complexion i'm going to be using this one here i'm going to mix this powder here and this one for the other parts of my face just to set it after you apply your foundation you of course want to set the foundation with a powder that's what I'm doing now. And yes, you can use the same powder brush. You don't have to get a separate brush for doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to just um, get in that cut out that my chin area. So we have more like a pointed chin. And I'm going to use the same powder to set my forehead area temples like this upper part of my face guys you want to ensure that you set the corners of your nose and i'm using a smaller brush now to also do that and i'm going to use the same powder shade though it's going to be this one this one is not the darkest one this one is dark but it's not as dark as this one it's just so that it doesn't look unnatural yes so you see what i'm doing So guys, next, it's now I'm going to do my eyebrow. After highlighting your brows, you want to go back to the same powder which you use in the fine inside of the sides of your nose and just um, 
kind of apply that powder area and blend it towards the um, concealer a bit so that it doesn't look like oh you highlighted this area and just abandoned it like that you can see what i'm doing i'm just going in with this powder here it's darker than the shade of my skin but not so dark and i'm just um setting the mood there right you can see how it looks you can see how this area looks and see how here looks you can see this is obviously better it's just all blended out so yes so same thing here 